Good morning, everybody. Sunday, January 23rd already. Wow, this month has flown by. 2022. How's everybody doing out there this Sunday morning? It is 13 degrees out here with the wind chill. So it is, feels better than yesterday. Yesterday was much colder, but I'm still dealing with this Omicron. And it's been 12 days, so 12 days. Hospital said there's nothing they can do. So it feels like I got the flu. I'll say I feel probably about 20% better. It's slowly getting there. And the doctor at the hospital said some people might take days, some take weeks, some take months to recover. And, um, you know, there's a new, probably be another variant out. Yeah. So these new variants actually got all these people in the labs and scientists that are coming out with these new vaccines. Basically, what's going to happen, you have to get a new vaccine every couple months. So they got a variant booster vaccine that'll be out, they say March, for the different variants. Well, that's going to change because they don't know. To the, 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 the different variants had different stuff. But, you know, the second time I had it in four months, the kids keep on bringing it home from school. And, uh, you know, school, keep, school says it's your problem. We're not going to let this shut down our school. Since they know about it now, they should have had schools open when the pandemic first began. They shouldn't have shut nothing down. It'd be a cold day in hell before we go to virtual learning. They said that was a complete disaster. So they don't do virtual learning no more on the computer. They just basically, kids get a computer and they just load the work on the computer or say, hey, we're going to email you, look at your computer, we're going to upload some work for you, blah, blah, blah. So that's what it is. So they shut school down for about a week and not even a week, really, like five or six days, and they was rushed to open it back up because they said the guidelines changed or something. Five days now. So, yeah, it's crazy. And what I know about misinformation, if you, they say get vaccinated, but if you have COVID, you got to wait 90 days to get vaccinated. What happens if you get vaccinated within the 90 days? You get very sick. And a lot of people don't even know that. So you hear the, if, if you can have four or five healthcare, different healthcare providers lined up and ask them the same question. Everybody will tell you something different. They're just not on the same page, okay? They're not on the same page. Yeah, you gotta wait 90 days to get vaccinated. If you get vaccinated within the 90 days, you can get deadly sick. Too many antibodies in your body. <laughs> you, you deal with that deal with you got an overactive immune system where your body attacks itself. Your immune system attacks the, the tissues. It destroys it, you know what I mean? multiple sclerosis that's what it does you have an over active immune system or the body thinks the the immune system is actually the enemy so it starts destroying your immune system that's what happens if you get the vaccine early when you got covid you got to wait 90 days yep and all you hear get vaccinated get vaccinated so people go oh i can get vaccinated with covid oh yeah you can get vaccinated with covid boom next thing you know they're sick deadly sick they say yeah, a lot of people don't know what the hell they're talking about. The doctor at the hospital told me 90 days. He said, boy, you're doing a lot of research. And you know your stuff. I said, exactly. Because there's so much misinformation out there that people are being fed about. Yep. Yep. Get vaccinated. Get vaccinated. Get vaccinated. Get vaccinated. Don't you know the background of person? They tested the vaccine, the clinical trials on healthy people. Now they're doing it with people with underlying conditions. You see what I mean? They're still experimenting with the vaccines. Now there, there's stuff on YouTube and, and Facebook that they need, they need a people to volunteer on these new vaccines with people with underlying autoimmune disorders. So they're still experimenting. Nothing's set in stone. They're going to change the vaccines, different variants. It's still new. You know what I mean? So it's just crazy. I feel like I got pneumonia and it's real bad, tightening the chest and wheezing real bad. And the hospital said there's nothing they can do. They keep on saying, go to the hospital, go to the hospital. But it's worthless going to the hospital. It's actually worthless. I had five video visits in two weeks now. I'm going to have another one tomorrow. It's going to be worthless. We don't have nothing to help you. They wanted to give me an anxiety pill for COVID symptoms. That's how stupid they are. I'm like, really? Or like an antidepressant or whatever the medicine is. For, they said it showed very little signs of helping with people with COVID. That's why I don't want it. If it showed 10% signs of helping, what the hell? I don't want it. I told the pharmacy, don't fill that up. They said, why they give you this for COVID, if Omicron's? I said, I have no idea. They said, no, we're not going to fill this. This ain't going to help you. Yeah. Hospital, Friday morning, worthless. Nothing they could do. In and out in two hours. They did chest x-rays. They said nothing, no COVID lungs, no pneumonia. 
It's the symptoms of Omicron to make you feel like pure trash. And it's been, you know, 12, 13 days now. Goes away in five days. Yeah, not for me, it don't. Yep, can't judge everybody. It's just crazy, man. It's just flat out crazy. Get vaccinated. Yep, you vaccinated when you had COVID. The doctor told me since I had COVID twice, he goes, you probably got a lot of immunity build up. You probably don't need to be get vaccinated right now. You said, either way it goes, you got to wait 90 days, he said. I said, I said, a lot of healthcare providers are telling you you can go ahead and get vaccinated now. He's like, who's telling you that? I said, different healthcare providers. I said, every single one. And one of them told me you can get all three vaccines in one day, both doses and the booster. I said, that's what they're telling people. And he's like, oh my God. And that's, that's why people are getting sick and dying because they're getting misleading information. You know, I keep on telling them every time I talk to a different provider, they all tell you something different. That means that they're not on the same page. The doctor said they keep on changing the guidelines. I said, I know. You know, <laughs> what the hell? You know what I mean? So, it's just crazy. But I'm hanging in there. I'm, I'm hanging in there. I'm out here walking and getting some fresh air. You know what I mean? And I don't know. They told me I had all these appointments scheduled. He, he wanted to do an My cardiologist wanted me to do a CAT scan of my lungs, heart, and, and uh, arteries. See how much COVID damage was done. Well, they told me I had to wait 20 days to schedule because they want a negative COVID test. He's, they said it'll take three weeks to get a negative COVID test on this Omicron. So that's how bad it is. It hasn't been three weeks yet. It's only been, it's only been about two weeks, I should say. Yeah, about two weeks, I guess. So if I can just get rid of this stuff in my chest, tightness and wheezing and it feels like I got pneumonia, get rid of that garbage. And there's nothing we can do. And I called urgent care yesterday and they said, we can give you something. I said, ma'am, I was just at the hospital yesterday morning. They said they couldn't give me anything. She's like, really? We'll come here. We'll do another chest x-rays and we'll get you something to get you feeling better. I said, they wouldn't give me no steroids, no antibiotics, no nothing. They didn't give me anything. They got me in out of there two hours at the hospital. And I told them my symptoms. They didn't want to help me. We'll go to the hospital if you got problems. Well, go to the hospital. It's worthless. Four video visits in two weeks. Oh, we can't help you. We can't help you. We, we just don't have none. No, steroids ain't going to work. Antibiotics don't want, don't want to work. Don't want to work. We can't give you anything. We just, we just, can't, we just can't do anything out there. The antibody infusion, you got to be pregnant or have cancer to get it. They cut the guidelines out on that. So basically, yeah. So less people get the antibody infusion. You got to have cancer or be pregnant to get the antibody infusion. Yeah, they restricted the guidelines on that. Yep. 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 A lot of people saying kids and all that. Nope. You got to be pregnant or have cancer to get the antibody infusion because there's a high demand right now and very low supply of that because the old antibody infusions do not work on the Omicron variant. So they trash, pretty much trash them, put them off to the side because they don't work. It took them off the shelves. And there's only one out there for the Omicron variant, but they're, they can't make it fast enough. And that's why they put restrictions. You got to be pregnant or have cancer. They get the antibody infusion for the Omicron. It's crazy, I know. I mean, nothing I can do. But I figure I'd get on here, give you a quick update, let you know what's going on. I'm just hanging in there. A lot of people think you, you feel better in a day or two. Not everybody, not everybody. Everybody is different. We got autoimmune disorder. It might take months to recover from this Omicron. By that time, they'll have another variant out, and I'll get that. And I'll get the third time because. You know, kids wear masks at school, it doesn't help, it seems like, when they bring it home. Hell, half the school had it, and they decided to shut the school down. When the teachers had it, they had no teachers. It's windy and windy out here, and it's cold. That wind is biting my fingers off. It's cold out here. So I figure I'd give you guys a quick update. Please hit like, subscribe, hit that like button, comment down below. I'm going to let you know it's Sunday, January 23rd, and I'm hanging in there, okay? You know, a lot of people are texting me saying, you feel any better today? Very little. Very little. I still feel like trash. Yeah. It's just crazy. Remember, I'm being seen by doctors and nurses for video visits because they don't want me in the doctor's office with COVID. So they do video visits. I got another one tomorrow. I got another video to visit Tuesday. Nurse don't want to come to the house because I got COVID. So they're doing video visits, okay? Went to the hospital this past Friday a couple days ago worthless 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 they didn't do anything there's nothing i can we can do to help you we'll do chest x-rays came back 20 minutes later in the room so the chest x-rays look fine no pneumonia no covid lungs so they had a portable machine you used to have to walk down to down the in another area to get the x-ray but they got a portable machine they use now 
You just stay in bed and they take the x-ray and 20 minutes later they come back with the results. They said no COVID lungs, no pneumonia. So we just can't do nothing. We can't give you nothing for the wheezing, the tightness of the lungs and all that. That's what I'm dealing with right now. So at least the headaches are gone, the fever is gone. I just feel like that and very nauseated. Very, and loss of taste, loss of smell, loss of appetite. That's what I'm dealing with right now, like I got pneumonia. It's just flat out crazy. How you feel now? How you feel now? I'm just tired of hearing about it. I'll make a video when I say, hey, I'm 100%. Yeah, I'm back on my feet again. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate all the support though. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. I'm hanging in there, but you guys have a lovely Sunday. And go Bengals. Bengals pulled that game off last night. Woo! Yeah, who day? Who day? Who day? Who day? Who day?